so <laughs> I have to make sure that all my images here are good and clear um, which were they were and one thing I noticed in this whole I really don't know what this is, is called but I'm getting the word here um Rimbicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicubicub
is all the boxes. So you have one box, two boxes, uh, maybe three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So six, seven, eight, yep, eight. And that's how you basically piece it together. Um, now, well, I wanted to take a screenshot of that real quick. Okay. Now that I have that, I also wanted to create a I think it's called a modular, a module. So it will create a, a row system. Um, with multiple layers. So this will be, I'll classify this one as layer one. And layer one, it was center position, it was, um, there's five layers all together, right? One, two, three, four, five, and this one if we were to, oh my God, I would have to do that again real quick. And, oh wait, I did a screenshot, hold on. Um, cancel that. Screenshots right here. I'm going to put that a little bit lower. Okay, so now we're looking at this, right? And it requires overall because this is this this is code here. So overall it's requiring a total of Okay, let's count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's nine times nine. Nine times nine, which equals 81, right? Nine times nine is eighty one. Yes. Um, so the number one layer for the base of the pattern is located. Um, I really don't know how to reference that right now. But I think we we're going to have to use the A and Y axis. It's either that or, it, you know, so it can be specified from row and column or row um, X and then row Y. Or it could be counted from the top left of the total sum of the grid system squares to develop or yield these results. And so it would have to be counted from all the way to the top left and then counting to the right 
and as soon as it goes to the ninth square, every ninth it will it will do a return and then count again. So in this case, it would require one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, five. So four times nine is 36 plus four, so it's 40. So it could either be referenced as 40, or it could be referenced as um, X axis and then the Y. It could be um, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. So it could be the it can be described as um, this here or x five and y five and layer number one will have this whole s grid system screenshots it will have this whole grid system except that it will not have it will not have the visible squares like we don't have visible squares in here it only reveals certain visible outlines to create the shape so this will be layer one here this is layer one and basically all it's doing here is referencing the number one square And it'll create another one with layer two. And layer two will basically specify this, this um, section here. And when it gets printed out it will result it will show this it will reveal this right here and and also it will go into a more um you know like grid system since it also would result in multiple stages. That's why we have this here. This this shape downloads um, screenshots. Oh wait, I seen it right now. That's why we have this shape here.
and it's 3D. So on the grid system itself, what is really happening is there is this one here is layer number one Actually, I did that wrong. That's layer number one to the square down here. No, actually, the square is number one. The next stage is level two. This stage here is level three. And then finally, but not least, level four there. And then that's just from a vertical standpoint. And then there's also that process repeats itself similarly um yeah but it repeats itself um from vertical to horizontal so and look at trip out on this you guys will see it right now the square right here what you see in red And then what you set, what you guys see in blue, um, stage three. And then orange, stage four is this square over here. So all I did is this is vertical and then you can also apply it just like here. Um, yeah, here. See, this is Here it's on a vertical perspective. Then if we flip that hor horizontally, it's the same concept. You, you have the same pattern. From the level standpoint of view, So, therefore, these can be graphed out easily and effectively through code on the World Wide Web for our referencing and engineering.